Northeast, and I'd like to welcome you aboard the Nordon 63 Hot. She's a 2016 model, and she's the 10th one of these that we've built. This particular boat is built for uh, exploration. It has uh, added glass at the water line and a uh, straight up front for uh, chopping through some thin ice. It is prepared, it has both heat and air conditioning, and the boat is truly a world cruiser. Here we are in the salon, and it's a, just a great living area. We have a settee on uh, one side, a full-size settee, and it's all hooked together with the galley, which is a feature you don't find on a lot of boats, where if you're in here cooking, you're still part of the conversation. Uh, a couple of the features are the oversized TV and the freezer refrigerating box. Here we are in the galley, and I'd just like to point out uh, a few features. First off is the uh, induction cooktop, um, microwave, oven, and all this is GE Profile. Uh, we also have a trash compactor, and uh, got these lovely Sub Zero fridges. It also features this oversized sink. Here we are in the companionway. This uh, companionway is features this main electrical panel, which controls most of the features on the boat. Uh, going forward, we have a VIP stateroom, a day head. There's also a door, which turns that into a private suite um, for evening for your guests. Also have an oversized pantry, which is just around the corner here from the galley. Here we are in the owner's stateroom, and it's just kind of a lovely area to escape. We'll just have a little bit of privacy. It is well laid out. as multiple opening ports as well as an overhead hatch. Uh, plenty of uh, drawers, hanging lockers. Also features a great entertainment system with a good size TV. Also features a great and sweet head with a large stand-up shower. This is our uh, VIP cabin. Uh, another queen size bed. Uh, Plenty of ventilation. We got two overhead uh, hatches along with uh, two opening ports on each side. It also features a uh, not quite as big entertainment center as the owner stateroom, but it's a uh, good size. Also, up in the uh, VIP is this entrance to the, the pump room. That's where the water makers are, as well as the hydraulic uh, valve thruster. In the crew area, it features a little sink. We do have a freezer behind this door, a washer, and a dryer, um, and uh, access to the engine room. There is also a bunk uh, behind the engine room door here, as well as a pull-out cot. And this would be for a maid or perhaps grandkids. Or... space on both sides. When you get behind the main engine, which is oversized, bigger than uh, the rest of the 63s that I know of. Um, same with the uh, wing engine over here. It is also oversized. Uh, again, he was doing exploring with this boat. So full hydraulics package, which is on this wall, as well as a large generator and a small one is in the lazarette. Welcome to the wheelhouse. Uh, we have a full range of electronics. You control the whole boat from here. Bow and stern hydraulic thruster. It also has the star system, which is um, stability at rest. So as long as you're running a generator, uh, you also have a stabilizer on, just in case, you know, some big weight comes by. Um, there's also plenty of visibility. You look right through the captain's cabin so you can see what's sneaking up on you. Just want to point out a couple more features while we're up here on the Portuguese bridge. One is, there's a wing station on each side to control the boat while docking. There's also another one in the stern of the boat. And the other is this gas filling station, which is in this locker right here, and uh, provides plenty of uh, gasoline for the water toys.
Thanks for watching this video, and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me.